Newport, Rhode Island's world-class sailing, stately seaside mansions, prestigious yacht clubs, and Bill Pinckney's historic induction into its National Sailing Hall of Fame, a world away from where he grew up on Chicago's South Side. I'm the first person of African descent to be a part of this, to be recognized for my efforts as a sailor, not as an African American, but as a sailor. The sea doesn't care what your economic status is, your religion, your nationality, your sex, it doesn't care what you think. It cares one thing, I am the sea. Bill Pinckney chronicled his historic solo sail around the world, the first African American to do it the hard way around the great Southern Capes in his 1992 video diary and documentary. It's been very, very rough. For seven days I've had nothing but bad weather. Uh, the boat's been knocked on its side a couple of times. Pinckney had been knocked down before while growing up on public assistance on Chicago's South Side. The fact that I was black meant that statistically, before I was 21, I would be either killed from a crime of violence, on drugs, or incarcerated. Now, I never believed the statistics. At 86, he's retired in Puerto Rico, where he first learned how to sail small cargo skiffs while stationed here with the Navy in the 50s. I was a terrible student, but I read this book entitled Called It Courage, about a young man who was an outcast uh, with people in his island in Polynesia. I held that as my, my dream for a great adventure in my life. After a successful career as a cosmetics executive, Bill Pinckney decided to sail around the world in 1990, while in his mid-50s, as a legacy for his grandchildren and to teach inner city students back at his former elementary school how far they could go with a basic education and by making a commitment, like he named his boat, donated by other sailors and businessmen. Okay, and these lines the lesson way, plans he created with Chicago educators Longitude, eventually connected his voyage with nearly 30,000 okay. students so the, throughout so the country. Now a member of the prestigious New York Yacht Club, he thinks sailing often gets a bad rap for being confused with yachting as an elitist recreation, exclusive to those with more privileged backgrounds than his. But I'm very proud that I am a member of that ethnic group who has been part of the sea all along the African coast, all along the coast of the United States, because the first people and the watermen in this country were slaves. Absalom Boston, the first African-American captain of a Nantucket whaling ship in 1822, is on the Sailing Hall of Fame's nomination list, like Bill Pinckney was the past 12 years prior to his induction in 2021. I don't believe that my entry into the Hall of Fame had anything to do with the times that we live in of Black Lives Matter. I think it had to do more with my ability what my story is, what my history, what my achievements have been. Just me, no cat, no dog, no birds, no nothing. Solo sailing might be Bill Pinckney's claim to fame, but sharing his adventures and passion for sailing as a metaphor for life has also been his long-standing obsession. Prior to joining the Sail Newport sailing program, most of these fourth graders from Newport's public schools had never been on the water before, like Bill Pinckney never had while attending Chicago Public Schools. I probably learned more at sea than I, than I ever learned in school or any place else. When they're out there, they've got that tiller in their hand and they learn about control, self-control. They learn about teamwork. They learn about all of the basics that one needs in life to be successful. I'm sure, no doubt, throughout your life there were obstacles, social obstacles that you had to confront, either go around or get over somehow. Did you find that in sailing as well? In the actual sailing, no. I didn't find that at all in sailing. One of the, like I said before, it's a great equalizer. A bit older than your typical male model in the Ralph Lauren polo ads for nautical and club attire, Bill Pinckney still wears a 40 regular right off the rack and was a perfect fit for an RL Magazine feature story on his Hall of Fame induction. 
there's one other thing that you wear that's probably nobody else does wear in this club, the, the jewelry. Ah, <laughs> the jewelry, this, this little piece of, uh, of gold right here. That was tough to get. I had to sail around the world to get it. And what's the, the symbolism of that? Well, it goes, it's an old uh, sailing tradition that when a sailor rounded Cape Horn, he put a sailmaker's needle through his ear and put a piece of gold in it to signify that he had rounded Cape Horn. If you look at a painting uh, of Absalom Boston, you'll notice he has earrings in both ears. That means he's doubled the horn, east to west, west to east. Joined by family, friends, sponsors, and fellow sailors, okay. Captain Bill Pinckney was inducted into the National Sailing Hall of Fame and also received its Lifetime Achievement Award for advancing sailing right to a much broader community of American life. The United States, by its very population, is diverse. What we need to do now is to embrace our diversity. Thank you all for this.